Hey, fifth grade, it's Miss Utsi, ready to talk to you about Wednesday's lesson. All right, so we're talking about April 15th, Wednesday. So let's talk about what you're going to do in ELA today. So first, you're going to watch a video lesson. You're going to see there's a video, YouTube video, on similes and metaphors. You are still working with similes and metaphors today. So we're just continuing and building up on the learning from yesterday. So you're going to watch that video. And then after you've watched that video, you're going to read the lyrics to this Grinch song, and you're going to identify all the similes and metaphors in the song. Then you're going to give a try at writing some of your own on the attached page. So let's open up the Grinch document or the song first, and you're going to see the Grinch theme song here. And it says, you're a mean one, Mr. Grinch. You're a real heel. You're as cuddly as cactus. You're as charming as an eel. So here automatically, yeah, there we go. Can't highlight today. I can see that here are some examples of similes. You're as cuddly as a cactus. They are comparing him to a cactus. You're as charming as an eel. They're comparing him to an eel or his charm, should I say, to an eel. So therefore, there are two examples of similes that you could highlight there. I would just say as far as this one, just highlight your answers or highlight the similes or metaphors. So if you just highlight it here, go up to highlight this little marker looking icon, choose a color that's going to be easy for me to see. If you choose something really dark, it makes it hard to see. Yellow, the slight green are usually my two to go, that I go with. So yellow. All right. And there you go. And then all the similes and metaphors that I would find in the song, I would highlight them just as I did there. Okay. So that's what you're going to do with the theme song. Then when you get down here, it says now write all the similes and metaphors you found on the next page in the correct column. Honestly, you can type here. But if you were to just highlight them on here, I would be fine with that as well. Uh, that might be a bit much to try to type at all. So I'm good with highlighting. If you want to type, please go for it. Okay. And then it says, now it's your turn. So now you're going to write your own similes and metaphors to describe your feelings about the coronavirus, being out of school, or anything else you feel right now. Remember to use like or as because that's what makes something a simile. So where you're here writing your own simile to describe your feelings about the coronavirus, make sure you're using like or as. It can be one sentence. Please don't feel like you need to write a long story here. Just give me an example of a simile. And then same for down here. Then you'll give me an example of a metaphor where you are comparing the coronavirus to something else, but you're not using the words like or as. Okay. When you're done with that, then the last thing you're going to do is you're going to do this poem. You're going to get to kind of do a little poem. Here's an example when you first click on it. It gives you an example of how you're going to do this template. So you're going to see that you're going to have to choose a topic. And in the directions, it says the topic can be of your choice. So whatever you want the topic to be. The topic goes in the middle. And then you are to come up with words. They could be adjectives. They could be phrases. They could be something that is comparing something to this topic. So something else that's being compared to fall would work. So um, any of that will work. If you see here, like for fall, here's turkey. Well, here's football. Here's Thanksgiving. So there are like some nouns and different things in there that go with fall, color words that go with fall, okay? So here's where you're going to type, oh, I'm sorry, no, you're, yes, this is, no, this is the one you're going to type on, sorry, it's not, it's not blank. This is the one you're going to type on, so the one that's blank. So you're going to put your main idea, your topic here, so let's just say mine's was winner, okay? So I would type winner there. And then I may come up with some adjectives or anything like that to go with winter. So maybe I may say cold as ice. That is a simile that I've come up with that com is 
that can be compared with winter. Okay. So that's what you're doing there. This is just, you can don't need to do anything with this. This is just you. Um, it's an example, basically showing you what you can do for on the blank one, how to do it. So like characteristics or a trait or an adjective. Those are the things that you would write in those bubbles. And then obviously your topic or your main idea you would put in the middle. Okay. Then here, this is extensional or it's an option. It's an extension or an option to do. You don't have to do this, but here you would write it out. So you would take what you used on your brainstorming organizer to go ahead and type out what you have come up with. And that's Wednesday for you. Okay, so those are Wednesday's lessons. Please let me know as always if you need any help. All right, talk to you guys later.